not all prey are meek little losers destined to be gobbled up by the hunters and predators of the world. Some are willing to fight back, and some can even succeed, making mincemeat of those who dare to try and eat them. These are prey who can defend themselves from predators. Number 15. Zebra narrowly escapes hungry lion. Now, when it comes to zebras, I've always likened them to a horse with stripes. So it may come as no surprise to me that they're quick on their feet and can drop anything to its knees with a kick from their mighty hooves. I mean, seriously, would you get in the way of a rampaging racehorse on purpose? I know I wouldn't. Well, this silly lioness thought she would give it a crack, and it may be a mission she won't repeat considering the outcome. The footage, filmed at Narak Country, Kenya, shows the lioness sneaking up on the zebra. Thinking she has secured her lunch for the day, the lioness leaps into action. What she hasn't counted on, however, was that the zebra was a lot quicker and seriously determined to make a hasty escape. The lioness latches onto the rear of the zebra, who promptly shakes her free with a flick of her feet and promptly flees the scene. Uninterested in making the situation into a game of cat and mouse, the lioness slides off into the distance with her tail between her legs. She's clearly annoyed by the encounter, and who could blame her? Not only has a zebra defeated her, but she's still hungry. The zebra, however, has some serious boasting to do. It earned its stripes that day, wouldn't you say? Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Brave Giraffe Kicks Lion Now, we all know that the lion, particularly the male lion, is considered the king of the jungle. But that doesn't always mean he runs the show, if this footage of an angry female giraffe is anything to go by. A pack of lions on the hunt for a tasty morsel got a little more than they bargained for. Experts say the average lion can weigh over 400 pounds, whereas the giraffe can weigh over six times as much as that. The power behind their kicks, too, can measure well over a ton. Just their height alone can be quite intimidating, but if they're running at speed, your best course of action is to get out of the way and fast. These lions, however, weren't taking no for an answer, and unfortunately, on this particular day, their attempts to bring down the giraffe were rewarded. The giraffe fought the good fight, but it was no match for the hungry lions. Number 13. Harbor Seal versus Giant Pacific Octopus Just when you think this little harbor seal has bitten off more than he could chew, viewers are surprised to find that he is a little less bark and definitely more bite. The rare struggle between the seal and a giant Pacific octopus was captured on camera by locals walking along the sea's edge off Ogden Point, Victoria, Canada in 2015. The dramatic battle between the unlikely ringmates proved all the more entertaining when the seal appeared to have the upper hand. Whether the seal was particularly hungry that day, or perhaps the large orange octopus had made the first move, we're unsure. But the little furry guy was keen to make an impression. The battle raged on for some time, with the octopus dragging the seal under the water time and time again. But he wasn't going down without a fight. And who could blame him? I mean, the octopus would have made quite the tasty treat. When all looked lost for the little seal, he appears to sink his teeth into the octopus in a sudden fit of rage, and the battle is won. Top marks for the little guy. I bet that's a tale he'll be telling his mates for a while. Number 12. Warthogs make daring escape. If you remember Pumbaa from the 1994 animated feature film The Lion King, then you'll have a pretty good idea of what a warthog looks like. Members of the domestic pig family, they're a rather stocky little character and have large tusks. Pumbaa was described as a bit of a glutton, and warthogs are considered scavengers, so they certainly like their food. What they don't like, however, is being part of another animal's menu. And it's hard to argue with their logic. 
This footage, taken in Greater Kruger, South Africa, shows the amazing moment where two quick-witted warthogs narrowly escape the jaws of a hungry pride of lions. The warthogs thought that they were safe in their burrow when seven big cats came knocking. They spent hours digging down into the burrow in the hope of securing a meal. But whilst resting and with just one keeping watch, the warthogs took their chance. In a split second, the pair sprinted out of the hole, both heading off in a different direction. Fortunately, it took the lions a moment to react, and the opportunity was lost. The dynamic duo had planned and executed one of the greatest escapes in the animal kingdom, and the lions were left humiliated and hungry. Number 11. Sea Cucumber Fires Guts at Attackers this sea creature might look like an oversized cucumber that's been dumped at the bottom of the ocean, but it's surprisingly resourceful. Given it has no brain, that's pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? A nerve ring around the sea cucumber's mouth lets it know when to move, eat, and ultimately fight for its life. In fact, when it comes to fighting, this bottom feeder pulls out all the stops. Literally. An incredibly weird animal, the sea cucumber expels its guts out of its very own ring of fire to catch and kill its prey. This incredibly interesting trait is even more fascinating to watch. Threads that look like spaghetti are expelled from the cucumber's stomach, and if any animal passing by is caught, they might die. They don't, however, dine on fish. Instead, they prefer to feed on tiny bits of algae and microscopic marine animals, as well as waste. This unusual way of living is crucial to keeping the ocean clean, so this weird little ocean floor dweller also plays quite an important role in the ecosystem. These marine animals are also enjoyed by us humans too, and in many parts of the world, they are considered a delicacy. Number 10. Gentoo Penguin and Giant Petrel Face Off it's often said that there's nothing quite like a mother's love when it comes to protecting her baby. Well, it seems that dad is just as protective, particularly if this footage of a scrap between a Gentoo penguin and a giant male petrel is to be believed. The penguin was busy watching his little one taking part in his swimming lessons with several other young penguins, when a very unwelcome visitor appeared. All hell breaks loose, with adult and baby penguins clambering for safety. The noise is deafening as the petrel zeroes in on its chosen prey. Weighing just 8.8 .8 pounds, the chick is no match for the much larger bird and is fighting to stay alive. Things get worse when the petrel is joined by a hungry companion. But when all looks lost for the helpless chick, Dad Penguin comes to the rescue. Putting himself in grave danger, he runs towards the greedy birds, flapping his wings and squawking a warning to let his son go or else. The birds aren't keen on letting go, but the chick slips from their grasp, and Dad gives one of them a quick slap with his flipper. Thanks to his bravery, his baby boy will live to swim another day. Number 9. Octopus and Pufferfish Interaction I don't know about you, but when it comes to pufferfish, Mrs. Puff from SpongeBob SquarePants always comes to mind. I don't think about a species of ocean dweller that's so toxic it's considered among the most poisonous vertebrates in the world. I think about the poor woman who, try as she might, can't seem to teach SpongeBob how to drive a boat. But I digress. Considered a delicacy in Japan, many species of pufferfish have to be carefully prepared to avoid certain death. So it's no surprise then that they're a force to be reckoned with on the ocean floor. This clip shows just how feisty they can be. So much so that even an octopus can't snare itself a quick bite. What looks like a prickly white baseball sits on the ocean floor, whilst an octopus tries in vain to drag it into the gaps between the coral. The ball is actually a puffer fish, and it's not interested in playing the game or becoming the octopus's lunch. No amount of coaxing will persuade the puffer fish as the octopus wraps itself around it, completely covering the seemingly helpless creature. But we know better, don't we? This fish is not a game player, and it's had enough. One stab from its spikes has the eight-legged predator ducking for cover. Truth be told, the octopus probably had a lucky escape. Number 8. Epic Seal vs. Shark Battle 
Seals range in height from between 1 and 5 meters and can weigh anywhere up to a whopping 3,200 kilograms. But even with that information in mind, you wouldn't consider them a match for a shark, would you? I mean, why even take one on in the first place? They have a reputation for being one of the ocean's biggest predators, but it's a reputation that clearly didn't deter this brave young fella. The epic duel between seal and shark was captured in the Pacific Ocean off North California in April 2015, and it doesn't quite end the way you think it might. Granted, the shark isn't some massive great white, but it still takes some courage for the seal to take it on nevertheless. The seal makes a meal out of the shark, literally throwing it into the air on occasion like it's a rag doll. It doesn't have a chance. And apparently, this sort of behavior is quite common, with seals keen on grabbing themselves a little shark for lunch. Who knew? I didn't. Number 7. Porcupine uses quills as protection. Just like our friend the pufferfish, the porcupine has spiky armor covering a good portion of its body. These spikes are called quills and help with the animal's survival in the wild, giving it protection from predators. The quills are neither poisonous nor barbed, but certainly off-putting to common prey that includes foxes, wolves, mongooses, and, it would seem, leopards. A large rodent, the porcupine can become quite aggressive. Depending on how agitated or annoyed they are, they might display one of four traits. Quill erection, teeth clattering, emitting of odor, or simply attack. When their quills are raised, a white strip can be seen down their back. This strip is like the skunk and indicates that it can release a similar odor, but this is usually only a last resort. The invasive scent is produced from the skin when the porcupine is stressed. If all else fails, the animal will attack by running sideways or backwards into predators. This can result in the predator being impaled by the porcupine's quills and cause serious injury or even death. And as this clip shows, although they are small, they are not to be messed with. A leopard, intrigued by the sight of the porcupine, is either keen to play or is looking for a light lunch. Whatever the case, this little fella isn't playing ball at all. It can't be pleasant being stabbed every time you take a swipe, but this leopard appears to be a slow learner. It eventually gave up. Good call, I say. Number 6. Scientists Film Hagfish Anti-Shark Slime Weapon This eel-shaped, slime-producing marine fish is found in New Zealand's deepest waters. It is an ugly-looking character with protruding teeth that resemble the false ones your nan sits on her nightstand. But it's also very clever, particularly when it comes to fending off attacks from predators. Scientists dropped a baited underwater video camera into the ocean off New Zealand's coast between 2009 and 2010, and the resulting footage was fascinating. Information was gathered from the Great Barrier Islands at a depth of 681 meters and Three Kings Islands at a depth of 721 meters. The camera was deployed a total of 165 times, and there were just 14 attempts made on the hagfish's life during that time. Not one of these attacks was successful, because this hideous fish has a very clever defense mechanism, one that many other fish are probably quite envious of. As it is grabbed, the fish secretes a slime that instantly clogs the gills of its attacker. Unable to absorb the oxygen from the water and essentially breathless, it must let go and voila, the hagfish is released. It's the perfect weapon, really, and hence why the fish, known for its gruesome features, is one of the planet's ultimate survivors. Number 5. The Horned Lizard's Bloody Defense if you think you've heard it all, tune into this little ditty. This horned lizard can shoot blood from its eyes. Yeah, you heard that right. It sounds like the makings of a Hollywood blockbuster, but it's actually a real-life horror movie, particularly for anyone who finds themselves on the bad side of this unusual character. Sitting motionless in the desert sun, minding its own business, the lizard is unaware that a young coyote is skulking nearby. 
Unfortunately, our friend the lizard has a few tricks up his sleeve, and the coyote's about to be taught a lesson he's unlikely to forget. The lizard looks a little like a dinosaur with its crown of thorns and scaly mottled skin, but that's where the similarities end. It's only five inches long, so essentially no match for predators. Fortunately, it is very clever in the art of camouflage and has a unique defense mechanism if push comes to shove. Although this little character's blending in nicely with the background, the coyote spots it and pounces. All is going well until he decides to take a little nibble, something the lizard is none too pleased about. Without further ado, blood starts shooting from its eyes and straight into the mouth of the coyote. And the lizard isn't dying either. This is just one of a long line of tricks they have in their arsenal. Fortunately, the coyote isn't keen to find out what the others are, and he's off to find an easier target. Can't blame him, really. Number 4. Bombardier Beetle's Bomb You know the saying, it was like a bomb going off? Well, it had to come from somewhere, right? Whether this tiny character is responsible, I'm not sure, but it sure makes for an interesting tale. The Bombardier Beetle is a ground beetle that inhabits all the continents except Antarctica. They typically live in woodlands or grasslands and prefer moist places to lay their eggs. The beetle is, however, most famous for its unique defense mechanism. But gradually, it became more potent, more specialized. When disturbed, they produce a hot, lethal toxin. This toxin is forcefully expelled through a channel near their abdomen, and researchers say the process is fascinating. Using a technique known as synchrotron X-ray imaging, they have witnessed exactly what happens inside the beetle's body when the explosion occurs, and it's a little like a bomb going off. The complicated explosion system all stems from a reaction between two chemical compounds that are stored in two reservoirs in the beetle's abdomen. When the two meet, heat from the reaction brings the mixture to near boiling point and produces a gas that drives the potion to ejection. This spray can be directed in a wide range of directions and can be fatal to attacking insects. Just like a bomb, I guess. Number 3. Electric Eel Shocks Crocodile now, you wouldn't think an eel would be a match for a crocodile, would you? Well, imagine that eel is the electric kind, and you might like to change your mind. I guess it'd be a bit like you or I grabbing hold of an electric fence and holding on tight. The outcome wouldn't be pretty, and the same can be said for this hapless crocodile. He thought he had found himself a tasty morsel to satisfy his appetite, but he got a bit more than he bargained on. Fishermen can be seen hanging a line over the edge of the boat with bait on the end. An electric eel swims in, and then the big croc glides into sight. After spending some time salivating about the possibility of an easy catch, he snaps his jaws around the eel, only to get the fright of his life. This character isn't your everyday run-of-the-mill eel, it's the electric kind, and one zap from it packs a powerful punch. The poor croc didn't know what hit it, and he got out of the way quick smart. An adult electric eel can produce a shock of up to 550 volts, so it's easy to see why the large reptile was put off by the altercation. He's lucky he lived to see another day. Number 2. Swallowed Newt Escapes Death The rough-skinned newt certainly looks innocent enough, but don't be fooled by its charms. Hidden on its underside is the real danger sign. It's red and means poison. When eaten, the newt releases a toxin, the same as that of the pufferfish. It is so deadly that their prey usually dies within seconds. They produce tetrodotoxin, a lethal poison that paralyzes the muscles, stopping the diaphragm and heart. The newt hails from the Pacific Northwest, and although reaching lengths of just 18 centimeters overall, these little characters have a fighting spirit. In fact, many predators find out the hard way that the rough-skinned newt is one tough customer. Some animals, like the garter snake, have become immune to the poison, but most others, including humans, have not. On a normal day, the newt's menu includes small, live aquatic material, preferably invertebrate like arthropods and mollusks. They are often found on the riverside, but occasionally wander out of their territory, and it is here that they can get into trouble. This footage shows a rough-skinned newt crossing the path of a bullfrog. It swallows the newt whole, but that's not where the battle ends. Releasing its toxins, the frog is dead within seconds, and the newt climbs out and heads home for its dinner. 
Number 1. Poisonous Pufferfish vs. Eel As we've established, the pufferfish may be small, but it's deadly. In fact, it is the second most poisonous vertebrate in the world. They are very poor swimmers, and as such, very vulnerable to predators. But they have an ace up their sleeves, and it's a biggie. Not only can they ingest huge amounts of water and effectively blow up like a big inedible beach ball, but they have pointed spines that make a most unpleasant mouthful. If the predator makes it past these two tactics, the pufferfish brings out the heavy artillery. They may be down, but they're not out just yet. Their last party trick, if you will, is to kill their killer from the inside out. Rather than swallowing a tasty morsel, they've effectively signed their own death warrant, as the pufferfish's skin and liver contains tetrodotoxin, a foul-tasting substance that is often lethal. It is so lethal that the toxin from one pufferfish can down 30 adult humans, and there is no known antidote. The moray eel in this clip, however, obviously hasn't heard the rumors and seems intent on a showdown with the fish. It blows up like a ball, and the eel loses its grip. A good thing, too, given if it had consumed the puffer, it would have been lights out. They might be small, but they are mighty. It's quite surprising, given their size differences, how many smaller animals can fight off a larger one when given half the chance. Using their own unique set of skills, some even make light work of their opponent. Not only are they brave, they're also clever. Two important attributes for life in the wild. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.